it's a bit ringy that isn't it it's really awful the reverb in Cubase so there's some reverb on it just to make it sound a bit uh, spacier and then if I choose I can then um, I, that's the send section of the A1 I'll then go to the channel and just lower the volume a bit because it's slightly high and now we've got this So there's your kind of classic goery thing, yeah. And lastly, the last thing I'm going to show you, I'm just going to go into this pattern and set the quantize back to sixteenths. And I'm going to show you just to get, just how you can use the arpeggiator to do a classic, what I call Euro trance, the more classical based trance. Yeah, we're going to get a set up a basic classical chord sequence that is used a lot for arpeggios especially by rock guitar players back in the 80s when they're into all that uh, the 90s when they were into all that kind of playing classical motifs uh, in a in a finger tapping way we'll start with the root and then we'll add in the um, a minor third here so we've got a minor third uh, So we're going to keep that pattern quite the same. A second, then a minor third, and then then the seventh, and it's the same as the other pattern. Okay, so just drag that across, and it'll repeat it twice. And this is what we've got if I reduce the loop range. Come on, bloody hell, Cubase man! Reduce the loop range. That and God, it's a lot of fanning around, isn't it? Sorry about this, but it's because we're changing tempo all the time. Right, and now we've got the same pattern as before. Okay, so here's a classical chord sequence. Um, I'll just grab those and delete them. Move that one over. So we've got the same pattern as we started with originally with the Gauri thing, repeated four times like that, there it is, and I'll now go into the, I'll extend my loop range out, and now I'm going to go into the second pattern, and we're going to raise the top note by a semitone, okay, like that. So now the chord progression, which is being arpeggiated, does this. Now the next thing we want to do, that should be up. Um, up there where it where it's been put in the second pattern and then I need to get the third here and push that up to there um, one two three four five okay and we now get this and for the last one take this these two notes and put them to the fifth there, this one up um, where it was in the last pattern, but up one more, and now we've got this pattern, which oh, we didn't quite push that last note. The last two notes want to go up just another semitone. Okay, here we go. This is a classical progression from classical music that once arpeggiated becomes a trance progression yeah so it's as simple as that and of course you can add to that um, you can add um, some echo as well so it's got a nice bubbling echo on if I just go to the VST instrument and while it's playing I'll just turn that filter down
there you go. That's some things you can do with the arpeggiator. And like I say, uh, once you start adding, you know, get the work on the sound more, make some nice bubbling delay so that that, that arpeggiation is set back in the mix more. I mean, I can I can do that by just because I'm on the A1 channel now um, here. And if I just lower the actually that's the reverb, isn't it? If I go into my instruments, choose the A1, open it up, choose the second one, and go to the channel. Just drop that synth a bit. Um, you could open up the length of those arpeggiations to a sixteenth so they're longer and you'll get this. The beauty of this is, is that now you've got that trance arpeggiation going, you can now change the order of the notes inside that. Yeah, at the moment it's playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, stepping up all the time. But I can change this so it plays one, four, two, three, one, four, two, three, and listen to what this variation sounds like. instant trance um, variations and if you put some filter movement on this as well and stuff yeah let's try it on uh, one three four two two one three four two and now we get this variation Two, four, one, three, two, four, one, three, and you get this variation. Isn't that brilliant? I mean, let's try it in four, two, three, one, four. Two, three, one, and you get this variation. And just add a bit of filter movement. instant trance heaven and it's all done with the arpeggiator and I hope this one actually recorded and um, there you go uh, it, it's, it just opens up a whole world of electronic music techniques to you and it's a time saver and an ideas creator and it allows you to just um, you know I can go over to my arpeggiator I can go over to my keyboard now and hold down a chord <coughs> and if I put the monitor on I can just play the chords and it will arpeggiate them for me, like this. See what I mean? All you got to do is just try combinations of notes and let the arpeggiator do, you for, do it for you. So there you go, the arpeggiator and hopefully this one recorded and enjoy get into it it's 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 your whole key to the history of electronic music techniques and uh, it's used a lot and it can do a lot of things for you creatively and in terms of working technique okay tune in next time